Welcome back to The Good Neighborhood and another installment of The Good Hood Sessions. We are here in the studio next to the Sportsman's Tavern. Next door, the Sportsman is jumping. Uh, I believe our guests uh, today, many, many of them were up on stage a few minutes ago. And uh, we yanked them over here for a little while to cut us some songs to put up on thegoodneighborhood.com. And happy that you're here to enjoy them with us. With us today is Dee Adams, who is... Uh, one of the sirens of the sportsmen's. <laughs> she hosts the Monday open mic and has done so for uh, more than five years. And it was not uh, long before she started hosting the open mic that she moved to Buffalo. Uh, Dee and I met at uh, an open mic, uh, a different open mic uh, about uh, maybe six years ago. And she was new to town, born in the UK, raised in Brockport, New York. I uh, went to college in Boston and, uh, and lived in a few other places before choosing to call Buffalo home and uh, quickly uh, becoming uh, and feeling at home here and especially over here at the Sportsman's Tavern. So Dee, uh, curious to know, uh, never gets old for, uh, for us, us natives to hear this kind of story. <laughs> um, what, what was it that, uh, that made you feel so, home, so at home in Buffalo and here at the Sportsman? Well, S Sportsman's was one of the first places that made me feel at home. I, I remember a um, email conversation, or actually it was a, a Yahoo IM conversation with Ken Berenger. He was one of the first um, internet connections I made in Buffalo. And he was telling me, oh, you got to come down and check out the Sportsman's Tavern. And um, I was new here and I'm a single chick and I was nervous to go anywhere by myself. So I drove by and I'm like, oh no, I don't really feel comfortable doing that. So I didn't go the first time that I told him I would uh, meet him there. And then actually I went with Alan Whitney. We went um, on a night that was supposed to be an open mic and there ended up being a show there. That's the first time I met Jay. Um, and I walked in and I was like, okay, I was wrong. Th this is a cool place. I feel comfortable here. And then the second time I went there, Jay remembered what I drank. And I was like, that's it. This is, this is my place now. Aren't you easy to please? <laughs> <laughs> that gives us an excuse to say hello to Jason Hall behind the camera there and maybe I can introduce myself. <laughs> Seamus Gallivan, we are, we are thrilled to have Dee here with us. We're thrilled that she comes here so often so that it's relatively easy to corral you and bring you in here. Uh, you have made Buffalo a home. Uh, you've become a homeowner here and you have some good stories uh, that to share that you've actually picked up stories along the way and not just, you know, came into Buffalo and said, here's my music. You've actually made Buffalo a part of your music yeah. and you have a, a song for us that is inspired by the, the old Central Terminal. That's right. Um... The story goes, there's a, a ghost that wanders around the cent, uh, central terminal and she's a, an old woman dressed in black and she's waiting for, maybe not an old woman, but a woman dressed in black and she's waiting for her uh, love to come back from the war. She's waiting for his train to come back and um, supposedly he never comes back so she can be seen wandering around the central terminal, seen and heard wailing away and uh, that's what s sort of started the idea of this song. All right, this is the new song about Old Buffalo that will be on Dee's upcoming record. It's Widow at a Train Track, 1942. Take it away, Dee.
That's D. Adams with Widow at a Train Track 1942, inspired by the Buffalo Central Terminal. Thank you. One, thank you, D. <laughs> one, uh, one great example of how D. has really become a Buffalonian. That's an old story that, uh, well, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of big part of Buffalo history, and kind of D. has made it a new story. And a really wonderful song it will be on an upcoming record, right? Title track. All right. So we'll look for that, and uh, I imagine you're recording it here. We are recording it here, and we start Saturday. <laughs> Yay, I'm so excited. Wonderful. Well, again, you can see Dee every Monday here yeah. as the most gracious host of the open <laughs> mic here at The Sportsman every Monday night, and uh, many shows on the weekend sitting in with folks like uh, Leroy Towns, who we just had here at the Good Hood Sessions. We're going to have Dee pl play another song that's a bit of an interesting twist uh, to this tale um, <laughs> that Dee is, uh, again, we mentioned you're settled into Buffalo. You are... Yeah. A new homeowner in North Buffalo, not too far from here. Yeah. And uh, apparently the name of this song is in a roundabout way related to your home ownership. That's right. I, I wrote the song and it didn't have a name for a long time. And, and one day the name just came to me. The song is called Gertrude. And it's it's essentially um, because Gertrude, the woman, is, is the narrator of the song. Not for any reason other than the name just stuck into my head. So I bought this house, lovely little old house, built in the 20s or somewhere around that area and uh <clears throat> got my deed my title and i'm reading through all the previous owners and wouldn't you know a woman named gertrude used to own my house <laughs> freaky the, the ghost <laughs> persists throughout your music <laughs> that's right here's another one from d adams one of our favorites here in the good neighborhood this song is called gertrude thank you
a soothsaying song from Dee Adams. That is Gertrude. We thank Dee for thank joining you. us here again every Thanks. Monday at The Sportsman. We hope to see you soon back in the good neighborhood. Thank you for joining us for another Good Hood Sessions. We'll see you all soon.